when you'd like to make a method, go ahead and open instrument and then select your instrument. Now that we're connected to the instrument, we can go ahead and make our method for whatever we'd like to, to run. We're assuming that you already know all of the parameters for your method. So you can go by and this is going to be your injector, your column, as well as your FID detector. First, we can start with the injector and we can set whatever temperatures to whatever they need, whether it's split, splitless, or direct, um, as well as the flow control mode, whether it's linear velocity or pressure. Typically, we'll keep it as linear velocity and control the linear velocity as the method states, as well as input whatever the split ratio is. Um, if it says one to five, you can imagine it's one divided by five, which is 20%, and that's what we put here. For the purge flow, this is whatever velocity we'd like to bypass the column. This will depend on your method, but typically around a value of three is okay. It might have to be lower, but it's typically not gonna be higher. You wanna make sure that you have your column information installed and this is going to be accurate to the column that you physically have. If it does not match the inner diameter, the film thickness and the length, you will have issues while running. So make sure all of these parameters match what you're running in your method. If you're designing your own method, this is where you're going to modify these parameters and test injection until you have desired outcomes. Same thing with our column. This equilibration time is going to be the time between injections that it's minimum going to wait to allow the column to reach equilibrium. Um, depending on what you're flowing through your column, you might want to give more or less time for whatever might elude to fully elude out. If you try and run too much in too short of a time window, you're going to overwhelm the column and you're going to have issues. So make sure that this value is the perfect sweet spot between taking too much time as well as enough time so that the column can fully clean out in between each run. There are options. If you don't want to have a set method for the temperature of the column, you might want to have the temperature of the column change. And if that's the case, we might want to control our rate as well as our temperature. You might want to start at 50 Celsius, hold for a minute, and then raise at a ramp of 10 degrees Celsius per minute until you reach 200 and then you might want to hold this for a set amount of time. And then we can redraw, and we can see how this first one minute, it's going to be at 50 degrees. And then after that, we're going to raise at 10 degrees per minute until it reaches 200. If you don't set a value here, it's just going to hold it indefinitely, but it just depends on what you're looking for in your method. And it will give a example of how long each injection will take. If we look at our detector, we can look at all of the different parameters. This is how long it's going to run each injection before stopping the injection. So typically this is going to be however long it takes for the last analyte to elude and you want to multiply that value by two just in case there's any impurities or anything that might elude late so you don't miss that elution. And then if you aren't sure about whether or not the column's ready for another injection, you can always add time to this, and this will delay time until the next injection. So in other words, when you make the batch and you start everything, this time here is the forced time between the end of the stop time and the beginning of the next injection, which is where your equilibration time begins. So this equilibration time and this delay time will seem like additive time if you're running repeat injections using the same, me same method. So we've covered how to set up our injector, our column, and our detector. Let's say you're changing your column. You want to make sure to set your column parameters in here in the set option. So you'll select set, and then you want to make sure that all of these parameters match everything that your column has and if you look at the box that your column comes in all of this should be inside of the label if not on any documentation that comes with your column try and fill out as much of this as possible although the vital information is typically the inner diameter the length the film thickness 
as well as the max and minimum temperatures and the activation date. When that's all done, you can hit OK to save. And then from there, we want to make sure that we actually set up our auto sampler. Again, depending on your method, you might have more or less of an injection volume. Let's say our method calls for a 0.2 microliter. And then here, the following parameters are how we'd like to handle the auto sampler before and after injecting sample. So we might want to wash the syringe once with the solvent before and then rinse twice with sample, then inject, and then rinse with solvent again after before moving on to the next injection where it will repeat one pre-solvent, two sample rinse, one post-solvent. All these other parameters can be changed if the viscosity of your sample is not ideal of a typical aqueous or organic solution, but typically high is okay for all of these. As you increase viscosity on your sample, you might want to lower these speeds because you might introduce bubbles. Um, everything else here should typically be okay. Whenever you're done changing all of your parameters, you want to select File, Save Method File As, and then you might want to select whatever parameters here that are identifiable. So whatever your name of your method is, you can go ahead and change it here and input it and make sure you save it in a location that you will have, that you'll know where to find it for the next time. When you're ready to go ahead and run your method, you can select download and that will send this method to the instrument and you will see all of these live parameters change.